Speaking Network. My name is Christy Ramirez and I'm your soul coach. So as always, I show up here on Mondays with a free weekend message for all of you. But if you want more exclusive content like this on a daily basis, your daily guidance from heaven, from above, from God, make sure that you become a member of my spiritual counseling TV network. ChristyRamirez.com slash TV and every morning you get your daily guidance and these are only videos of like three to five minutes and they make a whole huge difference in the quality of your day I promise you because when if you're unawakened to what the reality is the spiritual reality and you just go about your day not reflecting or not getting the spiritual guidance from God because maybe you don't have a lifestyle that incorporates sacred rituals or like meditation or just taking the time to communicate with God then you're gonna be more vulnerable to making mistakes making unwise decisions and that's what these videos are for is to help us evolve not regress on our soul journey and that's what this week's about it's really highlighting to us this lesson that we've all learned already last year of 2020 We've learned that life is too short to not live it, but it's also too short to keep making the same mistakes. Because remember, this is very powerful today, what God is giving me, because there's confusion among people when it comes to this cliche saying that says life is too short. Life is too short to not enjoy it, obviously. Life is too short to not be in the moment and experience joy, experience love. But when it comes to say, let's say relationships or how you spend your time, life is too short to keep making the same mistakes. And you know why? Because this is karmic cycles that is gonna delay you and set you back even further. And this is independent as to maybe your fear of death because that's actually what pushes a lot of people to make unwise decisions when they fear death or when they fear like time is running out, this is when they're more likely to be impulsive and take unwise risk. This has nothing to do with taking a leap of faith. This is actual riskness because now you're delaying yourself back. You're doing things that you know in your inner spiritual morality you shouldn't be doing. And maybe you're hanging around the wrong people or whatever the case may be in every individual's life. Maybe you're not taking control of your health per se. That's also a very reckless mistake because our health is what's gonna keep us going and what's gonna keep us experiencing this longevity and vitality. So God is really asking us to refocus and reprioritize what we value in life and for ourselves. And this, of course, is different for many different people. But at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, it all comes down to God, right? Placing God first making sure that whomever you spend your time with, this includes friends, even family per se, and partners especially, that they are also on the spiritual mission, but again, that they're also your spiritual lover. Is this a sacred union or is, just, is this just a physical union? And that's where my fashion show and my love shows come in, which are free as um, on my YouTube channel provided by my Spiritual Counseling TV network. I make them free because this is very entertaining shows that i create but it also teaches a lot and in those shows ever since january we've been going deep into the spiritual journey the difference between a sacred love and one that just is physically based or one based on convenience or for any lustful desires remember what dante said in his levels of purgatory the hardest one to overcome is the very top which guess what it is it's lust and just the fact that anyone doesn't want to be alone and that's why they settle for a relationship because believe it or not there's many different intentions you know being a psychologist i can be see very clearly through people and even with my own clients that i get i actually get a lot of people come to me that are having relationship issues and it's usually the masculine energy the men because the females the feminines not all of them the ones that are ruled by more masculine energy are actually the ones that have trouble with this area sexuality but the divine feminines, the feminines who are in their femininity, 
they are the ones that have more self-control when it comes to preserving their purity and their sacredness if they know that they're not with the right person or they haven't found that one person yet because it's not about settling right where whereas the male or the masculine energy the masculine ruled energy which could be female or male are more likely to rule with their physical desires their carnal flesh desires and this is what sets them back and why their judgment is clouded and why even their spiritual guidance that they think they're communicating with God is a little bit blurry because when you associate with people who are tipping you off track that's also going to make you unclear and foggy in your guidance with God which is why God always requires us lightworkers and those who channel especially and have a duty to help the collective to always be in spiritual alignment so that we can always be in our truth and always be in clarity because it's not only about us it's about everybody because people depend on our guidance and especially if you work with people whether you're a counselor or a speaker or some kind of influencer people look up to you and they trust your guidance so you need to make sure that you are in God's grace when it comes to that and this is definitely what's happening this week I'm feeling and like I was saying I was gonna say something before but it kind of blurred off so I guess I'm not supposed to say it it probably will come out in the exclusive videos and this is definitely a moment I've been saying this and I know this can trigger people because a lot of people don't like to be alone and myself included you know I wish that I were in a relationship but I know that it's not the time worldwide and the only exception are for those people who have been in unions for 10 plus years or even before 2020 and who have been in a happy marriage or relationship and they haven't broken up or separated those are the only exceptions that are the people who are supposed to be in unions but anything that's been new I said this in the last fashion show within the past year or so I'm not quite sure that it's the moment to solidify relationships right now commitments because it's just not the energy collectively okay so it's like if you're not in the right environment you can't force an environment to suit what you want even though it might be in your heart what you truly want it might be all of light and love but maybe the environment is not ready yet it's kind of like for example let's say that you are let's say an example i mean the easiest example that i can make is let's say a building's under construction and let's say that you that's your dream home and as much as you want in your heart to live already in that dream home it's still not under construction and by you moving in while it's still under construction could actually be dangerous, right? Because I'm talking about the walls are not even ready. The filter of the water is not even pure yet. So you're risking your health now by trying to force your dream ahead of divine timing. Okay, I hope I made that clear because it's what God is wanting to say right now. I didn't really even think about this before I came here today. I actually came in with a blank. And that's the most purest way to come in when you're channeling any kind of information. Empty your mind to allow for the genius of the divine. And, you know, it's just, I guess that's just the message. There's a lot of self-control that needs to be taken place, a lot of diligence, and a lot of solitude. Even if you're in a relationship, you can achieve this solitude. And especially if God is first in the relationship, then this should be easier to carry out. And this should be a sacred union because you're both in God's mercy per se because you're in service for God. You're placed here on earth to be on the mission. So God first in everything and everything else follows. And trust me that when you honor God first, God will bless you with your divine counterpart. Like Adam and Eve, you know, Adam was alone in the world for quite a few years before Eve came alone, who was created from his flesh. That's why they're considered, let's say, like soulmates or twins, right? They're the mirror of each other because they're made from the same literal structure. And Adam had to be alone for a while because there was literally no one divine at his level. They were animals, but he wasn't going to mate with an animal, right? So think about this. This is the metaphor that we're to follow today. There's patience that it's needing to be 
taking place. This is the test. And if you're not passing the test, you're only delaying your own journey. Because whomever is progressing will find their divine counterpart. Even if you think someone is your counterpart, trust me that you don't know. Only God knows this. And it's energetic as well. So don't get attached to the physical, such as a face, a body, a person, etc. That's not what this journey is about. It's about the spirit love that you feel from the name. And that's what we're being called to believe in. This is the miracle because this miracle is what's going to help us transcend to the higher level. And this is how we're going to be at our ultimate potential of elevation, of ascension, and of ultimate victory, triumph on our soul journey because that's what it's about. So that's a short message for this week. Please become a member to get more extra messages throughout the week. Let's get started on today's Monday, May 17th, 2021, day morning spiritual guidance. I'm going to give you an example as to how I go about the structure, how I give your daily guidance so that you can know what to expect when you become a member. And also realize that there's other weekly shows as well that are very, very interesting, such as weekly therapy show, weekly motivational speeches, a weekly couples therapy talk show for all of you who want to learn more about love. There's also a women's empowerment forum show series and other cool stuff going on there as well. I do a Q&A radio show as well when you send me your questions and that's pretty much it. All right, so of course, new things are always coming up about throughout the years I get inspired. And of course, please check out my School of Light. I made a post this morning about my School of Light, why you should become a member of my School of Light and why you'll benefit because my school of light is just a whole other world there. It's our sanctuary to get this ancient wisdom. So I encourage you all to take a look at it. Take a look at the main page where you can take a look at the trailers, the curriculum, videos that I've done explaining what the school of light is about. And I hope that that will inspire you. Also know that the school of light membership includes the school of light for English speakers, which is of course the one that has the most variety. There's one for Spanish speakers within that same School of Light membership. The Escuela de Luz, the club, um, El Club de Libros Espirituales, which is the spiritual book club in Spanish. And then I also have a spiritual book club for kids. All of that has been begun already, so it's in progress. So make sure that you take a look at it. Okay, so let's get started with today's daily morning spiritual guidance. Okay, so let's get everyone, so I laid out my cards for today. Let us begin with getting some guidance. Let us pray to God to really give us accurate guidance for today on Monday. What's the general energy from source today? His guidance, his advice, his counsel. Because that's what we're needing during these times. We got the I know, I see, and I reap. So this is about, again, knowing. This is what A Course in Miracles teaches us. There's a difference between knowing and perception when you're aligned there's no doubt in your intuition right because you see clearly and because you see clearly and you have this knowledge we reap blessings okay so that's just a general energy you are the light your presence heals all because of your white light aura if this is you know that Archangel Michael is surrounding us during these times definitely because love is abundant let's get an extra message Wow believe in miracles because they are real so this is just kind of confirming what I said today, right before this. God is not wanting to give us too many messages. And just feel at peace, that's what the energy is as well. Feel at peace, whatever chaos is happening around you. Don't have expectations on your soul journey as well because you don't wanna disrupt this peace that you are experiencing, right? And remember that any expectations that you might have with regards to your future, love situations or anything in life achievement based if you have too high expectations you're gonna get disappointed so my motto for life is not to have expectations and in fact you know at least in my life i've experienced a lot of i want to say just the opposite of like my unfulfilled expectations which has just forced me to not have expectations and this is a mentality to have because I had to go through those lessons of getting hurt over and over when I expected something. So now I've learned the lesson to not have expectations and I'm feeling like if this is any of you out there who maybe haven't experienced this lesson yet, 
take note of what I'm telling you from experience. Do not have expectations. And today we have the message, I am able to listen. This is about clarity again. Purity, your purification rituals. And I'm definitely going to pick up this card. And it says, I am transforming and I'm becoming a better man. And interesting because I also have one that says a better woman. But this is the masculine energy that's coming to show up. And this is what I just started the conversation. The masculines on the journey need more help right now. And I said this in one of the fashion shows or the love shows, not quite sure. Actually, it was a fashion show because I wrote it in the channel message that the divine masculines are to follow in the divine feminine's footsteps because they are the one that are on track. Many divine feminines out here right now are living as a sacred woman, meaning that they're very much kind of like these women are being kind of like thrown into a woman's covenant for per se and surrounded by nuns. And that's just the kind of energy that I'm getting. And that's when you're more pure because you're not tainted or corrupted by outside forces, right? So that's just the guidance. And for you divine feminines out there, keep doing your work, stay on track and stay vigilant as well so that you can remain a sacred woman. Let's get an angel message for life purpose for today on Monday. In the reverse, we got two of Gabriel, which is the two of wands. And what the card says is about courageousness. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. But this is in the reverse. And I'm wondering why it's in the reverse. Maybe this is the loneliness that people feel on their mission. Many light workers are not necessarily ingrained into a soul tribe for that same mission per se. There's a lot of light workers out there who are doing the mission alone. And what God is telling us is that maybe we need to partner up. And teamwork always makes the mission stronger. But who is it that we partner up is the question, right? Who is it? And that's what we just need to be patient and surrender to. That's a message that I got earlier today. We got the star card in reverse. Maybe more purification is needed either on their side or on your side. You see, we got the three of Ariel, working with others in a cooperative manner, doing what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. This is our guidance. Focus on your own alignment, body, mind, and spirit. Focus more on arts and crafts, your creative work, and that's what's gonna give you peace. That's what's going to give us peace during these moments that are very uncertain as well. So don't think that whatever situation you're in is going to last forever because there's a lot of uncertainty in the air and it creates instability, especially emotionally, right? For many people, even mentally, which can create mental health issues or imbalances. And that's where if you need personal guidance or you want to talk to someone, please book a session with me and we can talk it out. I promise you. Look at this. This is about financial issues that might be in the air as well. Shower of abundance. Our angels are reassuring us that this is in the future. To heal your financial situation. First, give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow. I feel like this is a lot of people's worries right now. And this is something that, you know, is happening interesting that we have new partner card and we have the relationship card as well remember that your primary primary relationship is with yourself and God then every other relationship follows from there to attract healer balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and loved within so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. And there is a new partner that we might be blessed with, a soulmate. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to see the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. And this applies to everybody, especially for those who are single right now. There is new love on the horizon, like I said last week. 
So don't worry if you're momentarily alone because this is not going to be forever. So just choose to stay on the path because this will give you the highest vibrational kind of partner. And then finally, let us get a romantic angel for love because I know that this is a lot of people's concerns at these times. Everybody wants love, doesn't it? No one is excluded from this. So there's trust issues on the horizon, in the air, should I say, that maybe you're not trusting the journey because this situation is calling for you to have faith. Maybe just this lack of faith that there's someone out there for you is what's actually blocking you from receiving this love. So just know that if you haven't found that person yet, there is someone out there for you. Keep praying for it, it's very important. I wanna get an extra message for love. You're not excluded, don't worry. Right now is the moment to heal family issues. This is a repetitive message from last week. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Now this is where it gets me confused because this is the exact two cards that we got last week. But what are these efforts that we need to make? More playfulness and... So we got more, maybe more playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, bringing in more youthfulness, lightheartedness to all things. We also got separation from true love. So we are not in union with our true love partner. So this is applying to those people right now, but this will be the romantic romance of a lifetime. So stay optimistic about your love because I feel like this is what's lacking, right? The faith, the trust, positive thinking, and faith will bring you this romance. So don't quit on this dream of true love that you desire because I know that in your heart you have this ingrained with you so much. I can tell you this is one of my dreams and it's yet to show up and I'm okay with that because I know that God knows best. In divine timing, it will reach your heart. It will come to you. So for any of you out there waiting for this love, wait patiently because it will come. And so I feel like that's the message for today. I will now uh, continue to film for this week. So if you want access to all my exclusive videos and more deeper messages, please become a member at my spiritual accounting TV network, christianremerence.com slash TV. And make sure that you also check out my school of light. It's going to benefit you so much on, on your on your journey and of course make sure that you check out my a new you tell me soul coaching program the ultimate program of the year to help you transcend and transition from this old self old life into this new you i'm wishing you all an amazing and beautiful day go to christianmerge.com slash new you to watch the, the trailer and get more information about that program have an amazing and beautiful week everyone namaste Hello my soul family, my name is Christy Ramirez and I am a soul coach. In this program, A New You, a 10 week intensive soul coaching program, I'm going to walk you through 10 major themes that are required for this major transformation of your life. No longer are you going to be stuck in that old self, in that old life, with those old habits that are not serving you. You're going to make that jump, that leap of faith and you're gonna make this 360 turn into this reinvention, this new you. I'm gonna guide you every step along the way. Please join me and I promise you that it's gonna change your life forever. I'll see you there, namaste. 2021 is about to bring a new chapter. Step in as the new you. Embark on this spiritual journey. The time is now. What are you waiting for? Are you ready? The Ultimate Transformation Program of 2020 
a new you. Ten week soul coaching program taught by soul coach, therapist, and psychologist Christy Ramirez. Sign up now, ChristyRamirez.com. Hello, welcome to A New You. This is a 10 week intensive soul coaching program to help you on the evolution of your soul. This program is gonna help you with the major transformation of your life. This transformation is gonna be a complete 360 reinvention. This is from the old life into the new life, from the old self into the new you. And all it requires is for you to take that first step. I guide you every step of your pathway, 10 weeks, 10 topics that you must overcome in order to attract your most abundant life. I dare you, do this program, do the homework, listen to what I have to say, and I promise you that it's gonna change your life forever. I hope to see you there, namaste. My name is Christy Ramirez, I am a soul coach. I have a master's in marriage and family therapy. I've studied psychology for over 10 years, and I've accumulated all of the knowledge that I've gained in my experience into this program, personal and career-wise, with clients and through observation. And I've come to the conclusion that it takes these 10 topics to really, really overcome all your fears and attract your true self, become your true self, and embody all of those qualities that are required of it. So come and join me. Namaste.